Welcome back to another Stay Home, Stay Creative. My name is Sarah Bula and I'm a teaching artist for Artists Creating Together. And today I'm going to be showing you how to make abstract paintings using string products. So here's what they will turn out looking like. And whenever I say abstract, that just simply means that everyone's is not going to look the same. They're all gonna be unique and turn out differently based on the colors we use and these patterns, how they turn out, they will all be different. No one's will look the same. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. First, we're gonna to want to prep our workstation. So as you can see, I have some newspaper down because I will warn you, this project can get a little messy. Next, we're going to go through our supplies. So first, we're gonna need some scissors, some paint, I'm using three colors today, Something to put your paint on. I'm using mini paper plates, but you can also use a paint palette. Something to get our excess paint off of our string. So you can either use a platelet knife, a popsicle stick, a kitchen knife, a paintbrush. And we're going to need our string product. So I'm not going to use thread or string. You can, but I like to use thicker product here. So I have twine or you can use yarn, um, whatever you prefer, but I'm gonna use twine today. And lastly, we need paper. So you can either use printer paper or I suggest using a mixed media paper because it's thicker and since we're working with paint, it, it tends to lay nicer on our paper if it's thicker. So once you have your piece of paper, we're gonna want to fold it. So we're going to be folding it hamburger style. So if you see the long sides of your paper, in the short sides of your paper, we're going to want to connect the short sides and then crease. So now that our paper is folded in half, that leads us to our next thing we'll need, which is either an old magazine or an old book. And I say old because it could get paint on it. So you don't want a new book. Um, I don't care about this book, so it's okay if I get paint on it. And we're gonna go ahead and open our magazine or book and put our creased paper in it and I already have an abstract painting going so I'm going to go ahead and lay this one down and just keep working off of it so as you can see I have my three colors and since I have three colors I'm going to want three strings I suggest making it long enough so that you can coil the string because once we have paint on it that's how we are going to make our abstract print is by laying the string down and then pulling it out once it's closed in our magazine or book. So your string shouldn't be too long or too short. We want like a medium piece and I have some prepped here so that you can see. We're going to be getting nice and messy covering our string with our paint. Let's see what color do I want to use. I think that I'm going to do red. So as you can see here, I've layered. This one I already started, um, but you can use as many colors as you want and you can layer. So you can put colors on top of each other. Right now I'm gonna use red. So my string is in my paint and I'm just gonna move it around. I prefer using a paintbrush, um, but a popsicle stick works just fine. And then I'm gonna kind of lay my string down and just pull off any excess paint. And it can get really messy and that's okay. That's why we prepped our space. Okay, I'm gonna set my paint aside and I'm. it is time to lay my string down. So I think I'm gonna kind of go right in the middle. And I'm gonna twist it and turn it to whatever pattern I want. I'm going to leave the excess string out to the side. You can either pull from this way. If you pull from this way, your, your print is going to be smudged downward, kind of like these two, but I want it to be this way. So I'm gonna leave my string out to the side here. And then we are going to close our book or magazine with our print in it. Put it over here. Now, before I pull the string out, I want to show you two techniques we can use. As you can see here in my demo, we have some spots like this where there's thicker paint, or like here where there's these thicker spots. 
That is whenever we use more pressure on pushed on our book or our magazine. Or you can see these wispy spots here where they have more space in between where the string was. That's because I applied less pressure. So whatever technique you want to use, that's perfectly fine. And then we are going to apply our pressure and pull our string out. Once we pull it out, put it back on our paint tray. Let's open it up and see what we have. There we go. So as you can see, since my string was laid out this way, that's what way my print went. If I would have laid it this way, it would have gone downwards like these prints. So you can play around with it, use whatever colors you want, techniques you want. I've been layering a lot, but you can do less layering so that they're more spaced out or medium amount of layering, putting colors over each other. And you can use whatever colors you want and feel free to get creative. You can move your paper around whenever your string's in there. But that's the whole point of abstract painting is it can look however you want it to because everyone's technique is different and everyone uses their own preferred colors. So um, have fun with it, be creative, use whatever colors you want and play around with your string technique. Thanks for joining me for another Stay Home, Stay Creative. I hope you enjoyed abstract string painting. Thank you.